Story of the Goddess of the Nile Satis. Satis also known as Satet. Setet, Satet, Sati, Setis, Satet. Means, Archer, or, Water Pourer. She is the goddess of the Nile, the creator of waterlogging and the goddess of fertility. It seems that Satis is associated with the star, Sept, which every time it appears in the sky, it is a sign that the flood season has arrived. She is one of three ancient Egyptian gods worshipped at Elephantine. The remaining two, Kanum and Anukit, her husband and daughter, form the Elephantine Triad. She is depicted as a goddess wearing the Atef crown, like Osiris, or the white crown of Upper Egypt with antelope horns attached. Satis was also one of the wives of Kh Nemu, Anukit's mother. Her name is associated with her use of arrows to protect the pharaohs and southern Egypt. Before that, Satis was also the goddess of war. She is described as having the head and horns of an antelope. As the god of war, Satis protected the pharaohs and Egypt's southern borders. In her role, she is the one who purifies the dead with the water inside hell, which according to mythology is the source of the Nile River. Legend has it that Sate's tears fell into the Nile River, creating storms. Flooding. Before the river water rises, two events always happen, the summer solstice and Thien Lang rising after 70 days of absence. Therefore, Thien Lang is the star that signals the flood season, so she is related to the goddess Saptit, the god representing the star Thien Lang. Previously, Satis was considered the Eye of Ra, and the god's wife. Montu War. But later she was considered the wife of the water god Kanum and the mother of the goddess of the Nile Anukit, worshipped at Elephantine. Satet was also worshipped separately in the ancient city of Swenet, present-day Aswan, and Sehel Island. Much evidence found at Saqqara, an ancient Egyptian cemetery, shows that she was worshipped very early in Lower Egypt. Elephantine is the place where she is most worshipped. The location is apparently on the island of Sahal, two miles south of Elephantine. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.